You're about to watch a race between police officers from Detroit and East Point. They're not racing against each other. They're on the same team. And this race begins with a cell phone call from somewhere in Metro Detroit. What's your emergency? Are you gonna kill us, the hair on the back of my neck stood up. Hello? Hello? Are you going to kill us, sir? put us in the trunk. My senses went into went into high gear because it was muffled and hard to hear. What about afterwards? There is no afterwards. So something about he's going to go to prison forever, something about them having sex, something about a murder weapon. One of the women dials 911, then secretly places the phone in her pocket so the suspect doesn't know an attempt for help has been made. The call is randomly bounced to the East Point Police Department. Then, officers go high tech. I looked on the screen and saw that there was a longitude and latitude. I jotted him down and gave him to the lieutenant. It comes back on Pinewood Street in Detroit near Hoyt. New technology allows your phone call to be plotted on a map from the point it originates from. Brian, we're going out to check this out. We're riding around with the windows down. Maybe we can hear something. Where are you? He's doing something to her right now. I don't Ma'am, give me an address. Where are you at? The cell phone call is lost. The women dial 911 again, and this time their call is randomly bounced to Detroit Police Dispatch. Emergency 911, where is the problem? Detroit and East Point Police know these women are being assaulted in a car, but where? The vehicle's moving. Then, another 911 call. East Point 911, hello? <laughs> well, I have that 911 call again. Longitude and latitude's changed now. I can hear her crying in the background. We're checking anything suspicious around these houses, anything in the street. I didn't feel that they were going to live through it. I'm not trying to sneak out. She just said, I'm not trying to sneak out. <laughs> and she's crying. I know I did it. Don't punch me, please. Don't punch me, please. I know I did it. I know I did it. I'm still talking. I just lost the call. Last thing she said was, uh, please don't punch me. I know I did it. With dispatchers from Detroit and East Point navigating their crews through the streets, all the officers in the field have to go on is a vicinity and a description of a red car. Then, the final and most disturbing 911 call comes in. I've got new coordinates. He's hurting her right now. they got to be stationary right now because I'm listening to him rape her. Not only do these quick-thinking women call 911 and leave an open line, but then one of the women manages to turn on the car's hazard lights. It's possible turning on the hazard lights. Pulling up on one flashing, not Edward. It's red. We see a car with flashing lights on up the street. Two in the car. Got one in the front. Stay in the car. Let me see your hands. I'm not supporting him. He opens the door up. I inform the police department. Let me see your hands. He like says, "Whoa!" Both females open the door and they're hysterical and they're saying, "You know, get this guy. He's raping us." It was an excellent outcome. It's the most satisfied I've I've felt in 24 years on this job. All right, I think we've got this situation under control. The end of this race was successful. Police arrest Derek Smith. Smith was just released from prison three months ago after serving time for sexual assault.